Prayer for Morning Before we begin our prayer, let's take a moment to appreciate the incredible power of morning prayer and why it's so crucial to start our days with it. You see, morning is not just the start of a new day, it's the beginning of a fresh start, a new chapter in our lives. And just like any good story, a strong foundation is everything. The foundation sets the tone for what's to come, and the same applies to our days. That's why it's essential to start each day with prayer. When we make God the foundation of our day, we set ourselves up for success. As Proverbs chapter 3, from verses 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. When we acknowledge God in our morning prayers, we invite Him to lead us throughout the day, to guide our every step. And the best part is, no matter what challenges we may face, we can trust that everything will work together for our good, as Romans chapter 8, verse 28 assures us. Think of morning prayer as preparing for a marathon. Just as a runner wouldn't show up to the starting line without proper training and preparation, we can't expect to conquer the day without first seeking God's guidance and strength. Abraham Lincoln understood the value of preparation, and he once said, Give me six hours to chop down a tree, and I will spend the first four sharpening the axe. If even a wise man like Lincoln recognized the importance of preparation, how much more should we seek God's guidance before we face the challenges of the day? And we can find even more evidence of this in Exodus chapter 34, verse 2, where God instructs His people to be ready in the morning. It reads, So be ready in the morning, and come up in the morning to Mount Sinai, and present yourself to me there on the top of the mountain. The morning is a crucial time for setting the tone of the day, and it can make all the difference in your success. You know what they say, poor preparation leads to poor performance. If you don't plan ahead, you're setting yourself up for failure. In fact, it's often said that not planning is planning to fail. But it's not just about planning, it's about planning early. Benjamin Franklin famously said, early to bed and early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. And even in the Bible, we see how Jesus would wake up before dawn to prepare himself for the day ahead. In Mark chapter 1, verse 35, it says, Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house and went off to a solitary place, where he prayed. Why did Jesus wake up so early to pray? Because he knew that the battles of the day are won in the altar of early morning preparation and prayer. Our Lord understood that the morning is a powerful time for setting intentions and gaining the strength to face whatever challenges that lay ahead. So as the children of God, we must not underestimate the power of early morning prayer. It's not something to be taken lightly. It's an opportunity to gain the power to command the day for your victories and successes. The morning is a time of determination and preparation, and with the right mindset and attitude, we can conquer anything that comes our way. Let us pray. Almighty Father, King of Glory, we come before you today with grateful hearts and mouths full of praise. As your word says in Psalms 100, verses 4 and 5. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Your faithfulness, O Lord, continues through all generations, and we are in awe of your grace and mercy. Lord, we come before you today with hearts overflowing with gratitude for your unending love, kindness, and goodness toward us. We thank you for the gift of life, protection, provision, 
guidance, and deliverance, and the countless other blessings we have received from you. We cannot begin to list all the ways you have blessed us, but we can say this, Thank you, my dearest Father and Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, whom you sent for our redemption. He has redeemed us, and we are forever grateful. Dearest Everlasting Father, we come before you this morning seeking your forgiveness and cleansing. We ask O Lord, forgive us our shortcomings and cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. In Jesus' name. Lord, your word in Psalm 66 verse 18 tells us that if we regard iniquity in our hearts, you will not hear us. O Lord, we ask for forgiveness and cleansing in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as your word in Job chapter 38, verses 12 through 15 says. Have you commanded the morning since your days began, and caused the dawn to know its place? That it might take hold of the ends of the earth, and the wicked be shaken out of it. It takes on form like clay under a seal, and stands out like a garment. From the wicked their light is withheld, and the upraised arm is broken. O Lord, we command this day to bear fruit in our lives, fruit of favor, wealth, prosperity, healing, longevity, and all-round breakthroughs and turnarounds. In the name of Jesus Christ. O Lord, we command today to produce wealth and financial fortunes for us. Let the Son of today bring healing and health to every area of our lives where we face challenges. In Jesus' name, we command the Son to be a healer, a supporter, and a helper to us today. Come to us with healing, deliverance, and good health powers. On the other hand, be a scorching fire to consume and destroy our troublers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, your promise to Cyrus in Isaiah 45, from verses 1 to 3. You held his right hand and subdued nations before him, making even the gates of brass fall before him. Lord, I pray that you will go before us today and make the crooked places straight. Break down any barriers that would hinder us from walking in the fullness of your favor and breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. You promised Cyrus the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places. O oh Lord, we claim that promise for ourselves today, knowing that you are the God who calls us by name and desires to bless us beyond measure. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you send your angels and the Holy Spirit to guide and protect us throughout the day. Let every step we take be ordered by you O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, in Psalm 107, verse 20, it says that you sent your word to heal and deliver those who were in distress. Lord, we ask that you send your word ahead of us today, to save and deliver us from any planned evil. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that we are sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ and I cover our families, households, and loved ones with that same blood. Let us all run into your name, which is a strong tower, and be safe from all harm. In Jesus' name. Thank you, dear Father, for hearing our prayer and answering us. May this be a day of continuous financial prosperity, career successes, and breakthroughs, all for your glory. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen.